the mod headers feature of Apache can add HTTP headers to HTTP responses automatically for us. That way we don't have to count on the application to do it. Plus, headers won't be applied uniformly on all files and all responses unless the web server takes care of it, since the application server doesn't necessarily respond to all user requests. Apache mod headers typically comes with Apache, but it may or may not be enabled when the product is installed. We can enable the feature easy enough. We go to the command line. One thing we can do is just make sure that the software is available. And to do that, we can search for the mod headers. So we can search for it by name. It's going to be mod underscore headers dot so shared object. And if you see it on the file system, then at least the software is present, even if it's not enabled. Now to enable the feature, we need to change the Apache config file to load the module when Apache server starts. And there's a nice tool that comes with Apache that can do this for us. And all these different enable modules all start with A2EN for enable. There's also a companions A2DIS for disable. And then we need to say what it is we're going to enable. In this case, we want to enable a module. So we do A2N mod. There's also A2N conf, A2N site for configurations and sites and so on. In this case, we want to enable the headers feature. So we do A2N mod headers. And again, this just modifies the config file. Apache won't read the new configuration until it starts up. So if we wanted to, to do that now, we have to start Apache right now. Or in this case, restart, because it's already running. Now let's go ahead and add a header to one of our sites to test this out. So if we open up the configuration file for one of our sites, we can add a header. In this case, we'll use the expect CT header as an example for illustration. So we say header set expect ET CT and we give it a value of enforced comma max age equals 86400. Now we're going to save this file. Now we've changed the configuration file for the website. We need to get Apache to read this configuration. So we can tell Apache to read configuration using the reload directive, or you could restart Apache again. So now we have mod headers running. We have a header configured in the config for the actual website. And let's take a look at the headers. So we're going to use HTTP header live to take a look at the headers. And since we set up the header on the HTTPS version of the site, for this particular demo, we'll need to browse to the HTTPS site. Here's our headers that came back in the response. You see those listed here. And if you go down, the fifth header from the bottom here is the expect CT. So now you know how to enable mod headers. And you've also seen an example of how to add a header into your particular website. And hopefully this feature helps you to be able to configure headers automatically in your site.